it's okay. We've all been there. You've got your favourite playmat, you use it all the time. Unfortunately, that's gonna lead to a little bit of mess, staining, grub, coffee stains, tea stains, <laughs> food stains. Girlie, don't, don't not use your favourite playmat because it's too pretty. Because I've got all the tips to help you out. So join us for a journey of three ways that I use to clean my playmats, depending on how bad they are or just kind of what treatment it needs. Some take longer than others, some require equipment, some don't. So join us for the ride as we discover how to clean your playmat. Okay, this is method number one. Now I've picked a slightly grubby playmat. White, not the best kind of colour for a playmat in general. You can see it's a bit... Blech, I don't know, just 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 sad looking. I'm gonna make it a little bit worse before we make it better. There's some coffee. I'm just going. Oh no, <laughs> it's Pikachu. It's all coffee stained. There we go. There she is. And then let's go ahead and pop that into a pillowcase. This method we're going to be doing first is just using your washing machine at home. Now the pillowcase is to protect the surface of the playmat from the harsh metal container that you're about to put it in and mainly as well to prevent the fraying of the edges and to prevent it from kind of getting caught on anything so we're going to put it in a pillowcase make sure it's secure in there use the flaps on the end of the pillowcase to make sure that it's not going to get out okay over to the washing machine don't miss put your cleaner of choice in there i'm gonna put one pot in and i'm gonna put a nice gentle wash on on a light spin on a low temperature there it goes and it came out beautiful perry is completely obsessed she wouldn't leave it alone when i took it out to dry so it dried here in the conservatory where it's nice and bright but as you can see it's so much whiter now it's absolutely gorgeous all that grub and staining is gone and perry loves the smell method number two is for when you have a play mat like this one where i just have a couple of spots that need to come off just little bits of grub now I use this handheld stain remover. It's great for lots of things around my house, but honestly, I mainly use it for play mats. You just squeeze, it already has a gentle brush and sponge on it, and you just squeeze the stain remover and brush. It can take a little while because honestly, here I'm trying to be as gentle as possible. And there's lots of different types of stains on this play mat. There's some food, there's some drinks, it's well loved but it doesn't need an all over job. It just needs kind of that spot cleaning. And I'm gonna show you in a minute how well it deals with pen as well. So yeah, honestly, I just find this cleaner really good. This specific one has got me out of so many scrapes. Again, obviously it's a thing you have to wait until you're home, but it's nice to know that when I do get something on my play mat, I don't have to kind of worry about it. I can just wait until I get home. And then here we are, here's a nice biro. Just gonna scribble on my play mat there. Oh no, <laughs> I got Pen signing my match slip. What a silly lady. Of course, Pen's gonna take a minute to come out, but honestly, if you're gentle, go in circles, you'll be able to get that out in no time. You can see it's already lifting. It takes no time at all really and you can get it out and again it's not going to damage the design of the playmat they always dry up beautifully with this sort of gentle stain remover that doesn't foam too much and yeah no honestly this one works really well it's probably my favorite method just because it's really quick and not very time consuming and i don't have to sort of use a lot of money on the water bill or anything so just getting one of these little stain remover containers works so well And next up, this is a generally incredibly grubby playmat. As you can see, it's got some stains over there. It's got some over by the clouds. It's just well loved. Let's call it well loved. This time I'm going to splash a bit more coffee on it again, just to rub it in there, get it all grubby, make sure that we have some, some kind of some challenges on our hands. Let's get those clouds nice and brown. Yeah, there we go. Oopsie daisy, all that coffee. Now this time I'm gonna use a machine. I'm going to use my handheld carpet cleaner. So I have this for stains around my home and around the cafe that I work at. And it's great. It honestly is an absolute champion. You just put a little bit of stain remover in with some warm water. And then obviously it's a wet vac. So you do get that 
beautiful use of oops uh, <laughs> that beautiful use of the stain remover so it ends up smelling really nice again you've got a gentle brush and it's going to get really deep into the fabric and get rid of all of those kind of just general grubby moments that happen when we play with our when we use our play mats a lot we're going away a lot we're going to competitions so enjoy some enjoy some vacuuming honestly this is the most satisfying way i wouldn't have said it's always the most thorough i think definitely the washing machine method is more thorough than this but this is a kind of easier cheaper if you already have the equipment or if you feel like you could also use it around your house for other things i think i got this one for about 60 pounds new so it, it's not very expensive now this is the really bad bit at the side you can see so we're just gonna wet it with that nice mixture and it backs all up nicely and already some of those tea stains have started to come up so and they've been there for a long time this is one that i have had since 2021 as you can see and um i've never cleaned this playmat and it's just been on my table i've used it loads this is kind of one of the ones i use for testing and so those tea stains have been there for a while so even ingrained stains here are lifting out really nicely and as you can see i'm just being really gentle again you can go over the edges it's not a problem i've never had a playmat fray through doing this so i wouldn't worry about the edges of your playmat either during this process And there we go, leave her to dry and a beautiful usable play mat with no tea ingrained in there. Now we're gonna have a big stretch break. Of course, you can just hand wash your play mat as well in a sink with some hot soapy water. Just go really careful not to fray those edges. Just be really gentle and don't use anything too abrasive. Using like any coarse brushes, again, is gonna damage the surface of the playmat. If you need to clean the back of your playmat, that's super easy. You can just wipe that down with any sort of damp cloth. That one, not a problem at all. It's that front of the playmat that we're concerned about. But honestly, if anyone else has any hints or tips, please leave them below. Obviously, anything that we're doing when we're cleaning, there's always that risk of damaging your playmat. So please make sure that you're as gentle as humanly possible. But yeah, if anyone has any more hints or tips, please leave them with us because I'm sure there's people out there that are going to need it. But I've managed to get pretty much everything using these three methods out of a playmat. I'm talking, you know, wine, coffee, um, blood, literally everything that I can possibly think of I have managed to get out of a playmat with these three. I think pen is the most common from signing match slips, but don't worry if you've got your expensive or favorite playmat, you can still get those stains out. You just need the right methods and products. Hopefully this has helped and please follow, subscribe and leave a comment. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you guys and bye-bye.